All right, welcome to old school, Jane Huger, Mark Thompson, Ben Manquitz. We got a really old school, old school crew here today. Uh, and uh, I've got excellent topics for you guys. Can't wait to talk about it with all three of you. Uh, of course, uh, this show is sponsored by twostrongcoffee.com slash TYT. That doesn't say the logo, that's on the other side. Oh, there it is. Oh. That logo is a little too strong though. All right. Um, <laughs> no, Ben, no, we're not doing that. We're not, okay? That is very <laughs> off brand, okay? Take him off, take, take him off, take him off, okay? Play him out. Uh, all right, twostrongcoffee.com slash TYT. Uh, and also- this, But this is too strong coffee that I'm drinking, so- Oh, you I, are? Oh, okay, good, 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 okay. I don't want any of that morning edition nonsense, but uh, but as long as you're uh, drinking too strong coffee, God bless. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna start with this important topic. Truffle, is it worth it? Okay, okay. so. I'm the perfect person to ask. So I'm gonna a ask a question that I'm gonna conservatively say is the question on the mind of at least 16% of the people listening. What's a truffle? Yes, and is it truffle or truffles? Is it truffle oil? Is it what do we? What do we? I don't even know the conversation we're having. Here's All what I'm gonna answer if my daughter asked: uh, mushrooms. Like that's yes. it. That's as far as I can go. Yeah. So I'm pretty positive that truffles uh, are are either Star Trek uh, characters or <laughs> mushrooms. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I know I know there's a lot of the truffles and they multiply quickly. That I know. <laughs> um, so, so we're going to go to our resident truffles expert, Mark Thompson. Uh, what say you? Well, I think that uh, oh. you're both right. Can I say that? I I'm surprised like it, it started though. with an I think. I think that was revelatory. We're not really going to get a very definitive answer here, are we? Oh. First of all, is revelatory a word, but I uh, like it if it is a word because oh, I think I'm going to start using it. Yeah. Uh, I am going to tell you that I think that mushroom-ish might be uh, an answer. Uh, oh, right. I think they're vegetables that have to be, I mean, think they're a, a, a growing thing that's a vegetable that has to be sniffed out, doesn't it, by the truffle sniffing animals that then uh, uh, reveal its uh, its presence, its whereabouts, and then it's harvested. I think that's kind of how it works, isn't that? Am I? Can someone check that? I believe that's. It, and and no. then one of the reasons I'm sure that it's so expensive is because it is so labor intensive. Uh, Mark to, Jenk, it's a it's a fruiting body of a subterranean uh, <laughs> so mycete fungus, <laughs> predominantly one of the many species of the genus tuber. So mushroomish is right. So yeah. and and That's right. it's, about, it's a fungus. How to find it then? Mm. Don't they talk about that? Some of the truffle species are highly prized as food. Fence, French uh, Gaston, <laughs> Jean uh, and Salim, uh, the guy. Him, so he's probably great, and he's probably great to hang out with, and he like make a great meal, and he probably just tells great stories. But he sounds like an ass just because of his name. <laughs> Uh, uh, he called truffles the diamond of the kitchen. This is obviously from Wikipedia. Um, uh, they are cultivated and harvested from natural habitats. All right, there you go. There's white but, truffles, but, but, but truffles. finding them, but I, I thought finding them is an effort. Like finding wild truffles or whatever is actually involves these truffle sniffing pigs. Am well, I wrong? Well, I don't know. I'll I'll uh, I'll look for the I'll, I'll uh, do a search for the truffle sniffing pig. But I will say they come from many different areas, and they're all different. So there is something to be like you you might you'd want a, a truffle from uh, San Miniato. Obviously. Um, so uh, that's what my gastron told me, at least. Um, so uh, I was wrong. I didn't think we would look it up, but Ben does often look up things on on uh, the magical Wikipedia. So, uh, Mark, okay, there you go. It's l largely right. So now I return to the topic at hand. Uh, are they worth it? And so the, I'll tell you why I'm asking that today. Because this morning I wound up super randomly having a truffle toast, and I thought to myself, if Tucker Carlson could only see me now, <laughs> right? Oh, these liberal blah, blah, blahs. 
They're going to make you drink too strong coffee and have truffle toast. They're going to make you do it every day. They're going to make you do it. And so uh, then I thought, this is delicious. Uh, but then the rest of the day, I had truffle breath. Mm. I did. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much how many times you guys have had truffles. It doesn't sound like very many. Never. Uh, but are you guys familiar with truffle breath? No. no, I didn't even know it was a thing. No. Yeah, I don't know that it is a thing, but it's a thing. Like I never heard of it. I made up that term, right? Like Ben made up the word revelatory. Revelatory. Yeah. Revelatory. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't Come make on. it up. Like that's okay. a word. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I got. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I got so, one that says that's not a word, but yeah, I hope it is. As I say, if it is, I'm using it. Apparently, I'm not because I still can't spit it. I know. Out. I know. Revelatory is a word. Oh, uh, I, I go with revelatory, but I, I'm, you know, but it, I've said it for so long that it, it actually could be uh, uh, that I, you know, I like to mispronounce things on purpose. This is true. So, and I, I occasionally will do it so much that I forget that I'm saying it wrong. And usually, it's with something silly, like you know, like calling uh, the TV show Homeland Homeland, which just amused me. To no end, but then I would really say oh, Homeland's on, and then it would. Anyway, so that may have been it, but I, I think it's. Uh, uh, you think it's revelatory? No, no, I or, think you want. You were talking about it being rebellious, so you say this is sounding revelatory. No, no, there was no B. I just there was a V. Oh, okay, I didn't know. No, that. no I meant. Yeah, I, no, I, that it was, was just revealing. Yeah, so revealing. It was, that which. Oh, revealed, I thought you were making. I thought you were really making up a word. Oh no, the word revelatory definitely. Yeah, is I that the word you were like saying? Mark, you I think were you're making yourself it. look like an idiot. It's not that big a word. You were pronouncing <laughs> yeah. it differently. Is that all you were doing? No, no, I, I just you just heard it wrong. Um, you're just old and your ears don't work. Oh, no, that's I exactly said, it. I got to go. But so by I, the way, I, I want to apologize then to my colleague. By the way, the yeah. young Turks though are revelatory. We are. That fact, we rebel. Yeah, I, was, I really was, thought that Ben said revelatory. I thought he was just being funny. You know, no, no, no Mark. We were, were this exactly. close to calling it revelatory headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was going to go with revelatory pack, and then I got talked out of it. And let's just keep it simple, rebellion pack. You know, so we were this close to revelatory for so long. Uh -huh. fact, yeah. So uh, okay, but I'm gonna move on, and I'm but I'm gonna go to a different uh, food story because apparently you guys never eat truffles, which is surprising to me because you're both uh, elitist libs uh, who drive Volvos and eat sushi, and and hence I would have figured would be uh, plagued by truffle breath quite often and would have a strong opinion on this. But well, I, it well, looks just, like just, I need a truffle sniffing pig to find your opinion on this issue. Just for the record, I, I didn't say I didn't. Ben said he didn't eat them at all. Yeah. I do eat them, but yeah. uh, they are a, and this is kind of what prompted this conversation. They are an add on typically that can often cost a few bucks. So all things being equal, you might not add them, you know, because they, you know, you're paying a premium for their addition. I have two thoughts. One, I, I'm sort of against truffles the way I and mushrooms, fungus, the way I'm against uh, the way I was against pistachio because I thought it was mint, right? I mean, it's just like you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I get it. That was a you know what we like to call a mistake. Um, and, <laughs> ben, sometimes you make me look smart, and I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> but you know, just. In my, it's a very small defense. Like as we were really talking about it, I knew I'm like, oh, this is I'm wrong. Like this is obviously not correct. I've just <laughs> because it's green, I, I have thought. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, but I did think it. There's no question. So, uh, but I don't like mushrooms, and so I instantly don't like truffles. But I suspect that the flavoring of truffle is probably quite delicious. But I just won't try it. Like it's not. I'm not. I don't really try things anymore. Yeah, yeah. I, you yeah, are. You, you're, you, yeah. You're kind ben of knows a, what he likes, and and he's locked in. Is the point? Yeah. yeah, you're not politically conservative, but there's a lot of conservative in you, right? Yeah, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, you, you're very set in your ways and not not interested in the truffle folks and stuff. Uh, you you should. I mean, it is a strong taste, so you probably will not like it. But you should try. A, a smidge of it at some point, but I don't even uh, know what that means. Like, do you spread it? Do you shake it? Is it cooked in it? Is I, it a big no. giant 
like I think you like should a, spread it and shake it. Actually, I do think. Uh, yeah, yeah you, no, oddly, no, you come none of that is true. It, yeah, it's magic. Two sorts of ways to see that you should use. I think that uh, revelatory is uh, is not an adjective. I think it's a noun, and I think it is the uh, location where the rebellion is conceived. It's the rebel lab, the revelatory. Oh, the oh, revelatory. That's very. Strange. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's with the our Tony Romo's was our revelatory when we <laughs> had right. exactly. the Young Turks. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now we have a new word. Aaron, write it down. It's an old school word. We did it again. Oh, that's um, great. So uh, yeah, you can so get ben, truffle oil, by the way. Just I mean, that's probably the safest way to try yeah, we, it, Ben. That way, it we, doesn't resemble a mushroom or something that you know you like. Or something that you you know you uh, recoil from. The oil thinking, is a really clean way to you know to have it. I think. I think that I was. Uh, we have some truffle oil here. I'm sure I've had things cooked in truffle oil, and and I like to try some new things eating. I, I do. I just don't. But like when it is suggested to me, it's not like you know. I'm not, I don't think I don't find it gross. I and I don't really. And I was thinking this week about mushrooms. I was there was a food show and they were cooking mushrooms and it was going crazy. And I was like, I don't know. Maybe they're good. I just don't eat them. Like maybe they're great. Maybe I'd love them, like prepared a certain way. But my dad used to love them, you know. And I like most things. But no, he had some crazy likes. Come to think of it. But I. But if you're ordering a pizza, uh, like I like mushrooms, so I'll say, you know, add some mushrooms or whatever uh, historically, and then and you'll always hear kind of along the lines of what Ben is saying. Oh no, just put the mushrooms on that part. I'm just on one part. Yeah, pepperonis on everything, but just mushrooms on that one part. You know, so. Well, that's interesting. Make a good point. Here's what else I don't really like. I don't really like pepperoni. Hmm. Over, here's what's unquestioned pepperoni. Pepperoni, wildly overrated. That that became the go-to pizza topping. That's insane. That's a okay. mistake. That's an American error. So, Ben, you started out uh, disastrously incorrect, but then you made a sharp turn. So let, let's break down the tape. Correct part, the not putting mushrooms on pizza. No, 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 no. That's definitely not the incorrect part. Um, so let, let's let's Zapruder film this, okay? So Ben comes in from the left, okay, from back into the left, and says that uh, pepperoni is is that he frowns upon pepperoni, uh, and and obviously that's not American. Um, was considering uh, banning him from the Olympics. Uh, there was a lot of things that went through my head uh, as you said that. Uh, I thought the Capitol rioters are way more American than you. Uh, <laughs> but then, um, but then when you said, why did that stick as our the go to topping on pizza? And that's where the sharp turn came. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, back into the right. <laughs> like, yeah, I love pepperoni pizza. And, um, but yeah, wait a minute. Why, why? Why is pepperoni so magical? Why is that the number one condiment for it, if it's could be called a condiment for pizza? Uh, I, think we go with, I think we go with topping. Um, topping, topping's another word Americans use. Uh, uh, I think uh, it, so it's um, like, like why it's so why not bacon? Right? We put bacon right. on everything else, and you know what? Bacon on pizza is actually delicious. Yeah, it's better because bacon on everything is delicious. I had a pizza last night that had bacon and it had many many meats on it. You would have loved it, Mark. And uh, um. <laughs> It had ham and that ruined it and that bummed me out. And the pepperoni is so strong and it's not that I dislike pepperoni. It's just that it is, it is a, uh, it, I don't, I don't think it, the pepperoni has no place with a marinara <laughs> with a, with that kind of sauce, with a mm. tomato sauce on the pizza. And it yeah, is just strange structure. that that's the, it's almost like reflex. With and it may be with you, Jack. I don't know. Maybe you love pepperoni, but like pepperoni pizza was the pizza you got. So if you loved pizza, you loved pepperoni. But if it had been something else, I mean, if, if that had been always like some sort of a crumbled Italian sausage or bacon, my hunch is you would have thought that was the go-to thing on pizza. Hundred percent. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll uh, I'll throw a Mediterranean or slash Turkish twist on it. If it had been ground beef that was on pizza. We all would have had the ground beef, and we all would have loved the ground beef on the pizza. Hugely, well, I mean, under, hugely underrated on pizza, ground beef, out of control underrated. Thank you can have the you can have the ground beef on pizza. You can have all of these different things on pizza, as you know. Pepperoni, I think, is largely the go-to because it's from a you know the way you get pepperoni 
as you're probably, and sausage. Uh, as you're aware, I mean, after the torture and murder part, is, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, is the spices that is that are added to the curing process, right? So uh, those spices is uh, those spices are, those are integral, and the spice uh, combination is what most people are reacting to, and that's what makes it a a go-to pick. You don't have those spices, for example, with just ground beef. You don't have those spices with like the ham or whatever. So I think it was. The idea, and one other thing I'll challenge, and I know I'm the guy who doesn't even eat meat here, but I'll challenge this. The idea somehow that it doesn't go with the marinara sauce. I mean, please, you have um, the uh, bolognese. Don't you have that in an Italian restaurant? You'll have you know spaghetti and meatballs. Those meatballs have, have spices in them that are yeah, not- I just, But Mark, Mark, it's the cured meat and the spice that makes it strong and makes it, to me, uh, first of all, nobody says I'll have the pepperoni sauce ever. Not one time in the history of the world. <laughs> Like that has never <laughs> happened. Oh, I'd love to take this pepperoni off the pizza and put it in a sauce and put it on my spaghetti. No, inconceivable. <laughs> nobody would do that. So I think it's just strange. I got it's definitely the course, of, and I don't want the cured meat. Now I realize, like mm -hmm. in in general. So you know, I like the when I eat bacon, I like the uncured bacon if you can get it. But but that's what it is. It's just you don't see pepper. It's like pepperoni. The, all that pepperoni that's made that, that's that's made after the brutal murdering process, right? All that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how much of the world's pepperoni, or at least of American pepperoni, does it even exist anywhere else? It's it sounds American, doesn't it? it? Sounds like an American Italian word. I don't know, but I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess if you go to Bologna and ask for pepperoni on the pizza, they're gonna look at you like you're a moron. But I don't know. Um, so yeah, they're gonna put Bologna. What percentage of 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 the pepperoni? Uh, sold in the United States ends up on a pizza. I mean, it's got to be above 90%. 70%. Yeah, I think it may be even higher. <laughs> yeah, maybe even higher. That's right. So I, I now have four things to say that are so important. Uh, I almost don't want to be interrupted. Um, <laughs> these are these are matters of national security here. Uh, first of all, uh, Mark is uh, absolutely correct in the in the battle between Mark and Ben. That's why I couldn't help myself and shout it out earlier as Ben was talking. Another sharp right turn. Uh, pepperoni definitely goes with marinara. Score one for Mark. Ben's unacceptable. We move forward. You've never had it. You've never had it in your life except on a pizza. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I don't need it more than I get it on pizza, which is all the time. That's because that's what's on pizza. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, the, the court is ruled. Um, secondly, America, uh, we are efficient. We will do the truffle smelling pig uh, to get the truffles and then we'll have the bacon. Okay, sorry, Mark. Uh, okay, uh, I have realized that uh, truffle oil um, is what was confusing me about truffle. So we're concluding the truffle conversation uh, with that revelatory piece of information uh, because I was always like, you know, they say there's truffle on it, and I definitely taste the truffle, and I definitely have the post truffle breath. But where the hell is this magical truffles? I never see them, right? And it never occurred to me that it was like I've heard of truffle oil, and obviously it's truffle oil when I've, when you, the minute you said it, the second you, the nanosecond you said it, I was like, truffle oil. Of course. That's why I can never spot it. I'm like, where the F is the truffle? Okay, so all right, Whew. okay, and the tr and and I think that's why it also leaves a taste in your mouth uh, for a while because it's the oil that seeps in. Okay, so all these mysteries have been solved. You're all welcome. Uh, and now, finally, I conclude with um, Ben mentioned something about America. Uh, and and by the way, I'm going to get to the story next of how I went to the most liberal restaurant in America, and and I can't wait to tell you guys about it. Um, but uh, speaking of America, I think Ben mentioned the word America, uh, talking about pepperoni mm -hmm. pizza. And so when I was growing up in Jersey, um, I we used to have uh, pepperoni pizza with extra cheese, and I wow. loved it. Jersey? That's what they did in Jersey. That's a Jersey thing. Yeah. 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 This is just Jersey. I don't know if the rest of the country is familiar with that. Okay. <laughs> and uh, but Jersey actually has excellent pizza and. And it has better pizza than New York. New York pizza and bagels are overrated. Jersey has uh, both better. 
Um, and so I, you know, by the way, I used to say that about Jenk, subs. Jenk winning friends in all the major cities. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. New York, don't care to win your friends. bagels are overrated. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll say it. I'll say it again. I'll your pizza, again. New York. Did you hear me on the bagel thing? Even more overrated is your pizza. Yeah, no, it's true. Okay, so uh, change my mind. Uh, no, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, is Sam Cedar here? I'm gonna run. Okay, so <laughs> seriously, uh, so when I have pepperoni pizza, especially if it's a little extra cheesy, I close my eyes and I literally do this. I go, America. <laughs> <laughs> it really part, is to me part is part America. Yeah. By, by the way, pepperoni is a, a entirely a, a creation of American. Uh, it's a, it was designed to go on pizza in America. I mean, it's very similar to some Southern Italian uh, cured meats, but it has uh, paprika, which I don't love. I mean, I could take it or leave it, and it's pretty strong. And it's smoked, and I think it's too smoked. I don't like smoked. Smoked flavor overwhelms to me the thing generally that it is. Uh, like I, I'm uh, in, in Los Angeles, a very famous burger place called the Apple Pan, and uh, I get. By the way, I get the tuna sandwich there. But the, uh, um, but it, the burgers are famous there, and I like the burgers there. But they have a hickory burger. That's their main thing. They have a steak burger and a hickory burger, and people rave about the hickory burger. But the hickory burger just tastes like you're you're eating a, a burger as your house burns down, and I'm not into it. Huh, that's super interesting. Uh, obviously, uh, because a the hickory burger there is. Delish, it's yeah. excellent. Uh, but I realized as you were talking, I, I had a bit of a uh, revelatory moment, and I, I don't know <laughs> that it, I might have even had it at a re revelatory. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is quickly turning into a revelatory here. This <laughs> this edition of old school. Um, yeah. It, well, yeah, you know what? I don't really love smoked or paprika in other things. Yeah. But but in pepperoni, it's magically excellent. Yeah, you've been so, trained. Your brain has been trained growing I up agree. in America, in Jersey. It's okay. Now your brain's trained. It's fine. It works. So yeah. whatever. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it still becomes America. It's still mm -hmm. awesome. But I another sharp turn. And I believe and I am now convinced that I was brainwashed into loving pepperoni pizza. I said it. Well, uh, you know, this allows me the open three, which I'll take right now. And that is that all food mm -hmm. and all eating habits are indoctrinated. So when right. you say I was, you know, force fed this and I got used to it or whatever, that's what all that's eating right. habits are, right? That's why when we go to different parts of the world we go, what? They eat fill in the blank, right. snakes, right. they eat, you know, whatever. They eat only vegetables. I like, give me a good piece of flesh that's been burned, but I don't like it smoked, you know what I mean? So right. these are, there's no question that uh, you can train your once your palate has been trained, you know, you're cool with it. And yeah, that's your brain right. yeah. pushes back yeah. on yeah. it. But okay. it is interesting. It is interesting. I mean, I, maybe it isn't interesting because some people are fast, some people aren't, some people are good with numbers, some people aren't, some people are, you know, as my mother unfortunately said one time, tender lovers, and some people aren't. <laughs> oh my God, your mother said <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The very last oh. thing you want to hear from your mom. No, it's actually the penultimate thing you want to hear. The worst thing would be <laughs> hearing about rough lovers. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, you know, he was not, he was a very tender lover, not like your father. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. That's Ooh. brutal. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't on Dr. Phil or something, was it? I no, mean, it was no, absolutely was, just, was, oh my that God. That was, that was pre, no. uh, it was pre Alzheimer's. It was just bad. It's just the guy yeah. was right there too. Yeah. Oh, oh that's wow. wicked. Oh yeah! Oh, All right, man, that broke a record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what were you saying though? The one thing you don't want to yeah. hear. What was? Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, that was that's great. Okay. That was yeah. That was a walk off over. It's okay. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. It's so true about this indoctrination, and it's actually uh, revelatory about a lot of things that we learn, and uh, and so like my mom. Oh my God, she would just try to get you to eat that food that she liked. And, and she was positive that if you, she liked it, you would like it, right? right? And she's been trying to get me to eat cauliflower for 51 straight years, right? And she's like, wait, just, 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 just try it. I'm like, mom, I've tried it 5,000 times. 
I don't like it. I, and hey, you know what on mushrooms? I changed my mind when I was a kid, I didn't like it. Now I really like mushrooms, right? Cauliflower is not in that category, please stop. Right? Do you not like the texture? Because I love cauliflower, but cauliflower was introduced to us. Um, um, uh, uh, mom, when she was done with the dirty talk, would uh, cook cauliflower. <laughs> um, uh, and it was always, uh, it was coated in breadcrumbs, which were obviously cooked in butter. And so it was this layer of, of delicious seasoned breadcrumbs on top of the cauliflower. And it really just felt like a mechanism to like, you know, eat bread in a fun, exciting way. And, but I, that's how I, st that's what tricked me into liking cauliflower and it, and it continues. Yeah, no, it's the texture. Yeah, yeah you, the texture. The texture is the thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes me want to vomit. It, it just, it is what it is. Everybody's different, yeah. right? Yeah. And and so my it tastes but a little I, like you're biting through cartilage. Yeah, it is a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't like about it, but but it. My and mom, as Mark knows, normally we're fine biting through actual. Yeah, cartilage. That's, that's an that, odd yeah. place to draw the line, actually, for you yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind actual cartilage. It's just when it seems like I'm biting through cartilage. <laughs> I, I got a problem. Yeah. I love that line. It's an odd place to draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but she was indoctrinated into indoctrinating others about food, right? She, there's this, there's a saying in Turkish that so Iva uh, and it means you ate this plant called the Iva, right? I don't know what the translation is in is in English, and and there we have I have an uncle who doesn't like to eat it, and and it's always talking about how he doesn't, he'll never eat that thing, right? And and in the saying in Turkish means that you're a sucker, like if you eat it, right? So it's like a disastrous saying that gets into people's heads for no reason. I don't know if that's why he didn't like it or he just didn't like the taste. My mom put it in a dish, didn't tell him, and then he ate it, and then he liked it, and then she's like, aha, you just ate the Iva, <laughs> okay? Like it's like a thing. Like you must eat this thing. It's it's part of our culture, and 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 so hence, like with everything else in my culture, I'm going to indoctrinate you with it. Um, which then leads to another topic. Before I get to this is apparently all about food. Before I get to the most liberal restaurant in America, which I know you guys are looking forward to, and Mark, you'll love this one. Um, but um, but I don't know if you guys saw it. today. There was a controversy about James Corden. Uh, and how uh, can he, we can we can we cancel him? I love I love it. I get excited when people can be canceled. What did what did he do? Is he done? Is he finished? Is he off the air? No, but almost like he 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 dodged a bullet with this one, or he took a bullet, but it was in like the bicep, and he's going to be okay. Uh, a segment of his got canceled. He he did not get canceled, but a segment did, and so uh, it was uh, something like. Eat it or shut up. <laughs> I oh, well, forget what it was called. That's but, where he has to where he blindfold somebody in the yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Put up or shut up or something like that. So where you have to either eat this uh, disgusting food uh, or you have to answer a hard question that he's going to ask you. Okay. And uh, and apparently, uh, a somewhat high percentage of the time, it was Asian food that he would feature. Right. So Asian Americans got mad and they were like, this is outrageous and this is against our culture. And, you know, just because we eat chicken feet and, you know, and uh, all these other things, et cetera, and a, and a year old egg or whatever it was, right? And I looked at the picture and I don't know if this dish is Asian or not Asian. I have no idea. But one of the things that he featured on the show was moose penis. And apparently people eat that. I don't know if other moose eat it, but but people apparently eat it. And so uh, and and so this became offensive. I love you, brothers and sisters, but it ain't offensive, okay? So when I was a kid, my mom would make me a feta cheese, a tomato, and eggplant sandwich, and it would get so soggy. And ki American kids generally don't eat eggplant to begin with, and they would look at it and they go, "Ew." Yes, right. So what? Yeah, it was because it was different to them, right? And and eating moose penis is weird to us. It's it's okay. Like I've eaten chicken feet because it was it's a it's a Asian food, and I tried it, right? I frog's knees, whatever. I tried all that stuff, and oh, the only thing I won't try is like cauliflower cartilage. That's where I draw the line. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but um. I don't know, man. Am, am I the one who took the crazy pill? 
it's okay. Isn't it okay to say, yeah, I get that this sounds weird to you and it comes from my culture, but it's okay. You, yeah, that's, you can make course, that joke. I, I, of course, I would say uh, that, of course, it is, right? Uh, in general. So it's really about what the nature of the joke is. If it's, ha ha, these are crazy people who eat crazy things, well, then no, right? But if it's, can we get Americans who don't know about these things and and actually recoil at eating, what was it? Like uh, chicken feet. Well, chicken feet, but it was the, it wasn't it something oh, the else? Moose, moose penis. Right, to eat the, uh, the, the moose thing. Then like, but we eat other, I mean, we eat every, nearly every part of the cow. Right, we eat nearly every part of the pig, which is an animal that's smarter than dogs. I mean, like, like it's, but they just call it something else, which is why it's interesting that like, that like they couldn't come up with a name for tongue. Right, that's why tongue is not a deli meat that we eat regularly. Right, I mean, why would that not? Why? What's the difference? Like we, eat, you know, roast beef, but tongue, which my father loved, but if it had been called, you know. Right, you know, let go. <laughs> right, we'd be like, oh, give me a let go sandwich. Oh, delicious. You know, yeah. maybe if your dad hadn't uh, eaten all that tongue, he would have been a more sensitive <laughs> <Don't> lover, <laughs> a more tender lover. <laughs> <laughs> tender, yeah, that's right. <laughs> tender. I'm sorry, that was a tender. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> the problem is now from. Ben can't reference his dad without me thinking of this entire. I mean, I got to get this out of my head. I oh. had no idea that he was a rough rider. <laughs> 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 Good for him, I say. <laughs> okay, but no, but that's that's a great uh, point though, Ben. Seriously, like I'm not eating tongue. I'm just not eating it. Here, here I'll give you more Turkish references. They in in Turkey uh, they, they have uh, they can t they turn sheep intestines into sandwiches and soups. Uh, and I've ha and I've seen people eat sheep head soup uh, where the eyeballs come out uh, uh, out of the ball. And, I, and, and they say, oh, you want the eyeballs? And it's you did it again, like, oh, no, you love the eyeballs. No, I won't. No, I won't. I will not <laughs> love the eyeballs, and I'm not going to eat it. And and I'm Turkish. It's okay. I don't hate you for it. I love you, you know, and I, I get it. The Turkish food is amazing. I don't know why you guys are wasting your time on goddamn sheep intestines. Are you nuts? Look at all the other great food we have, right? And, and so, but I got tricked into trying the sheep intestine sandwich and they sell it in like a street food so you know it's safe um uh so uh and the sheep intestine soup smells terrible my grandmother used to live above a sheep intestine soup restaurant okay and wow every time <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't see those on the brochures uh, yeah. you know come to turkey <laughs> right. And while you're here, don't miss the sheep intestine soup stands. So I have like PTSD from that smell alone when I used to go to grandma's. And and by the way, guys, if you've never had Turkish food, this is this is a tiny, tiny minority of the food. Everyone who goes to Turkey says they love the food, right? But uh, but I so, but I made the mistake of listening to other people and tried the sheep intestine sandwich. Oh, I, oh my. God, oh, it's the worst thing I've ever tasted. It literally tasted like crap, right? Because for a very good reason. I don't know what crap tastes like, but I'm sure it tastes like that. Okay. Yeah. And I spit it out and I couldn't get it out, out of my mouth like that taste for like a day. So don't do that. And and it's okay to make fun of that. Even if you love it, it's okay to make fun of that. Yeah, I mean, I think if the joke is is if the joke is it's funny to get people to eat food that sounds gross to them and watch their reaction. I, I don't, you know, I mean, you know, make them eat, you know, mix in some 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 brains. What do we call brains? What's the, uh, the uh, sweet why breads? I, sweet breads, yeah, that's right. I mean, you want to talk about a deceptive name, yeah. Sweetbreads? Now that's, yeah. they really knew how to rebrand. That was strong. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that, I mean, the, the the tongue people needed to hire the brain people, right? Yeah. You yeah. Know? For, for their marketing, that 100%. Yeah. No, I mean, let's that, just call it tongue, call it what it is. Larry, we're not going to sell any of it. No, we'll be fine. <laughs> um, and then uh, how about brains? Let's just, let's just call it brains. Nope. No, no, no. 
And I, I would have loved to have been in that rebolatory <laughs> as they were cooking up uh, the yeah. name they should call Brain. And I, I look, I've never had sweetbreads. Uh, I remember faintly once asking, "Oh, sweetbreads? That sounds delicious. What is that?" And they were like, "No, no, that that's Brain." And I was like, "Oh, okay. Never mention it again." Um, yeah. Yeah. There's. There's no way eating brains of anything doesn't turn out badly, which is not possible. Yeah, okay. I mean, but that's, I mean, well, you know, then that's Mark's just be like, your head is in that place. Yeah, right, Ben that's is right. just about to make the same point, I think, yeah, which is, that's, right. I mean, that's just because you've associated eating brains with, you know, brains and all the things that brains and thinking and the mind is, the reality is brains, What what's, how is that any grosser than eating any other part of these creatures? I mean, that this flesh that you know you sit down to, same deal. I mean, yeah. so you're telling me you nope. lop off a piece of that thing? That's a that was a living creature hours ago. You they package it up and you throw it on the grill. And you, why can't you do that with the brains of the creature? I mean, no, nope. Yeah. nope. No. not buying a word. Well, with you're truffle saying. oil, but, uh, would you agree? <laughs> uh, maybe some truffle oil. <laughs> yeah, just a little truffle oil, It'll be delicious. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no. it's crazy what we what we how we've tricked ourselves to be conditioned. You know, I mean, our taste buds are involved in this, but the brains is obvious that that why we're you know we didn't we didn't sell it, we didn't market it, we didn't you know it wasn't, and it seems like it crosses a line, but I mean, it's a crazy. It's a crazy made up line, but they should be able to make that uh, in general, they should be able to make that joke as long as it's not like, ha ha, you people are uh, backwards and crazy and your food is icky, ha ha ha. That's really not, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. No, I hear you, uh, I, 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 but I, I understand intellectually what Mark is saying and I'm going to disagree even though he clearly has the more logical position. Uh, so brains, eyeballs, tongues and penises uh, uh, are 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 different. No, no, I'm what not about the gen But does that include all the genitalia, like the testicles, no. the bull testicles? Those are a, a delicacy, the a Rocky Mountain oysters. Yeah, no, I'm not interested in bull's testicles too, but the, the penis okay. and the testicles are definitely more psychological, right? Okay. Yeah, because we eat the ass, we love the ass, right? Uh, we eat the ass of almost all the animals. And we do? Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, I, I, I read somewhere and I was, I don't know why, but some facts just burrow de deep into your head and, and I never get them out. Um, apparently, uh, the ass is the most delicious part of a human. Um, and so they say if you ever have to uh, eat people like the guys who got stuck in the Andes and stuff, you should start with the ass. Well, that's the buttocks you're talking about. That's not the rectum. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I should okay. clarify. I was talking about the rectum because I no, didn't know that I mean, you ate. You said you would say it with such a, a plum, you know, such no. eagerness. And I'm thinking, really, he likes eating the rectums of. <laughs> no, like, I, just, I, and that's I, the best part. I am so glad that you asked for that clarification. Uh, yes. Uh, I, of course, I mean that's the not the ass. The ass yeah. is yeah okay, but no. and, but there's but no do, way. Let me just be clear. You do eat the rectums, you just don't think you about it when you do it, and those are hot dogs. Absolutely, rectums are in the hot dogs, no question about it. Ground up rectums from those creatures in the hot dogs. Not kosher dogs, not Dodger dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now, happy 4th of July, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at after all. Hey, I'll hashtag speak. truth, okay? <laughs> yeah. First of all, it is true. Second of all, uh, uh, you are both unacceptable and completely acceptable. Uh, uh, now you got it in my head, and now I'm not going to be able to get it out. But you have every right to say it because, first of all, we've been asses this whole time, okay? Hey, and 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 you are absolutely correct. And so then, if you hey, take it or leave it, right? But that is what is reality. And so. And I bet none of this video gets misinterpreted by anyone later. <laughs> um, okay, uh, but but now finally, let me get to the best restaurant in America, mm -hmm. most liberal restaurant in America. Um, it's called the Breakfast Club in Cleveland, uh, and that's what it's called. It's really interesting. That's what it's called um, in for breakfast and lunch. But at dinner, it turns into the Vegan Club. Okay, and it is black owned. Uh, and so Nina Turner and I had dinner there uh, on uh, uh, Friday night, okay? And um, 
it, the funny thing is, first, Mark, of course I thought of you. And I couldn't wait to tell you because I was so proud. Uh, and then secondly, uh, unsurprisingly, uh, one of the dishes was delicious. The other one was tasted just like a conch fritters. We had that, right? And that tastes identical, right? And then the other crab dish that I had, the, the crab itself was pretty good. But the underlying corn concoction, whatever it was, it was like, this is really good, right? And so it, it's such a funny thing to be proud of. Like, oh, congrats, you had one <laughs> vegetarian meal or one <laughs> vegan meal, right? And it was delicious. And the guys who owned the place were like, so what? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but I felt like I, I felt like I like won a championship. I walked out of there like. I am Lib. Hear me roar. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, the name of this uh, uh, restaurant? Is the Breakfast Club during the day? Yeah, Breakfast Club during the day, and then the Vegan Club at night. Huh. And but the Breakfast Club, but can you get breakfast meats? Like, so the Breakfast Club is not vegetarian or vegan. You know, that's a great question. I don't know because I went for dinner, so everything was vegan when I went. That'd be interesting because, of course, that would uh, you know then they have to do some significant cleaning, right? To you know, they can't use the same grill or they can use it if it's been, you know, whatever. I don't know what the process is there, but that's a that's a big deal for at a vegan restaurant, right? That it was never there's not, you know, you're not cutting you're not cutting vegetables in the same place where meat was cut earlier. Which makes yeah, sense. Ben's right. I mean that that would be, you know, that's a thing. So Okay, uh, Ben, you're on the precipice of ruining this story. So uh, wasn't that great story? Where you? I think I'm uh, I'm saving it. Um <laughs> the uh, uh <laughs> Uh, it is the case, though, that uh, there are a lot of great. By now, there's a lot of great vegan food, and there's a lot of great. There are a lot of great vegan restaurants. But it is weird. This goes to the indoctrination part. You know, if you've been indoctrinated the other way, then, then sort of like as Jenk says, "Wow, this is unreal that I've come this far one time. I've walked across the street to the, you know, to the veggie side of the street." Whereas. What's going on? I mean, there's a Michelin restaurant in uh, uh, New York City that just gets a top restaurant. It, it was a top restaurant and it was a meat serving restaurant before. They've completely switched to a vegan menu and they've retained their Michelin status. So uh, it's clearly possible to have great meals and have them be vegan, but right, it, it's but also Michelin possible to have you know bad meals that are vegan right, or I'm bad gonna, meals that are not. But I mean, it's not just, of course, the key is not the high end restaurant because a Michelin restaurant means nothing. I, 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 I imagine I. Most Michelin restaurants, I would leave wanting to go somewhere else for dinner, um, I think. Uh, but, and I sense that might be true of Jank too. Like, mm, okay, now let's go get some food. <laughs> like, right. no, I, mean, I might that. really enjoy those small little uh, dishes that they make. I, I like small dishes. Well, that's but the yeah, point, I might though. want to get a burger afterwards. Uh, <laughs> I've never been to a Michelin restaurant. But, <laughs> the yeah. pretentiousness and all, I'm saying but, it. It comes up on both sides of the street now. But there are, but there are. I have been with Mark and without Mark. I've been to uh, now uh, three or four uh, uh, um, vegan restaurants where it was a breeze to get a delicious meal. So yeah, and you've that, got that. that uh, you can get a bunch of now with all the fake meat. You can get all that. Uh, yeah, and I didn't, you know, I didn't do any of that. I just delicious. had, you know, I had delicious potatoes, and I had some some vegetarian concoction with uh, lying on rice and with a great saw. It was great. I mean, I was like, I ate the whole time. I was stuffed. It was good. Yeah, but yeah. that's uh, for the extra bonus episode, which is just as long as this episode. Uh, and that's for the members, because uh, members make this show possible. So tyt.com slash join to become a member. If you're watching on YouTube, you can just hit the join button below. And we will discuss those nonsense topics when we return just for the members. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching this free clip of Old School. Don't forget to become a TYT member today for the rest of the show and for more exclusive content throughout the network. Join now at tyt.com slash join.